Hello, my soccer universe. Well, I'm wearing my new LASK European away jersey. I'm gonna get Europa League patches there. Today was the big day. I mean, uh, we played last year in Europa League qualification. We played in our Champions League qualification. We just missed. Videos are up there. Well, just missed. It was against Brugge in the end. It was, there was a, a short chance, but you know was not as tight as um, it sometimes felt from a fan's perspective. <laughs> but yeah, today was the big day. The first time ever that Lask is in a European group stage draw. So um, I was thinking like yesterday to do a reaction as for the Champions League draw. But since it happened at one o'clock and I'm at work at one o'clock and we have many Lask fans at work, Actually, we kind of banded together with our TV screen, had a beer and watched it together. And I have to say, this was a lot of fun. So uh, even if I would have watched a replay or whatever, I cannot give you an immediate reaction uh, of that. But I thought I can run th uh, through it group by group and then I'll give you my last perspective at the end and other perspectives as well. So yeah. Um, in case you're into soccer shirts, Classic Football Shirts has a 13th anniversary sale, minus 20%. Just saying that out there, um, I have to see, I actually want to get something, uh, but have to see um, if and what and when and so on. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I need to figure out how much are the Europa League tickets for Lusk, and then I'll make a <laughs> smart decision. Buying jerseys is my passion. Finding jerseys, I want to actually add to my club collection here a little bit um but it's never it's i admit it's not the smartest thing to do but it's so much fun it's my passion it is okay europa league let's run through the groups and i'll give you my thoughts on each of these i uh, will start of course in group a Sevilla, Apoel, Karabag, and Dudelange. I honestly have to say this is the most ridiculous group. Sevilla, yes, is the big favorite. When we saw, uh, you know, it goes A, B, C, and um, like pots one, two, three. And when Lusk was in pot four, we were kind of always going, which groups do we want? Sevilla, Apoel, Karabag was never a group that we want, 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 want to have. And Dudelange, I mean, it's just a ridiculous group. Sevilla will be, we said, they will be dancing on the street. Uh, to me, yep, uh, one big team and a lot of teams from small nations, I would say Sevilla and Apoel will move on from there. I think the other two have actually a serious chance. Uh, Group B, Dynamo Kiev, Kopenhagen, Malmö, Lugano, uh, also one of those that we really didn't necessarily want to have. Um, I think this could be tighter than it looks like. Uh, not, a, not a great group and Lugano, I cannot really gauge, although they're a Swiss team. Um, but I think Copenhagen and Malmö are relatively close. Then Group C, also one that we didn't want to have. I mean, Basel we just beat, so uh, what's the point of playing Basel again? But then you have Krasnodar, Getaf and Drabzonspor. Krasnodar, I don't want to see. It's, just, it's a difficult away game. That's what it is. So I didn't want to see that. Getafe is not really an attractive uh, opponent, although they're from Spain. Yeah, and then Trabzonspor got in there. Um, that's a difficult one to call. I actually would think the Getafe and Krasnodar are probably the favorites there. Then, Group D, Lusk's group, the first one we have. Sporting, PSV, Rosenborg and Lusk. It's a so-and-so group for us. I mean, there are big names in there. Sporting is a big name, um, PSV is a big name, and Rosenborg is a known quantity. In addition, at least from our work, we have an office in Linz, we have an office in Trondheim, so, I mean, there is immediately some uh, rivalry going as well. Which is sweet, two black and white teams. Sporting, yes, is one of the big three in Portugal, PSV. It's just, uh, for me, the big, big name. I actually, I said the three teams that I really would like to have is Arsenal, Roma or United. And unfortunately, those come not even close to those. But it's a pretty decent and tough group. I think Lusk will have a hard time getting him a third spot in there. I think the first two spots are a little bit out of hand. Even though... PSV got beat in Basel, we beat Basel. Let's see. Group E, Lazio, Celtic, Ren, Cluj is a very interesting group. I would say, at least from, from name, although Scottish football, I don't know. I would say Lazio, Ren are the favorites in that one. Then a group that we all would like to have had. Arsenal, Frankfurt, Standard Liege, and then Victoria said to Basel. Um, 
Yes, this would be an absolute dream just from the opponents that you get, not for uh, making it out, out, out of the group. But Arsenal Frankfurt, that's a real nice matchup. Standard de Liege is also a really tough opponent. Then Group G, Porto, Young Boys, Feyenoord, Ranger, super group. I mean, there's all big names in there, I have to say. Uh, that's definitely going to be an interesting one. Porto, I think, are the big favorites. Young Boys and Feyenoord, I don't think that Rangers will have much to say here. Uh, on, honestly, it's a sad state for Scottish football at the moment. I really wish they were uh, better. Group H is the group that we all wanted to avoid. Uh, CSK, Ludo Goretz, and then Espanyol. That would be the one that I say, okay, but um, I personally would have loved Ludo Goretz, being that I have relations with Bulgaria, so that would have been interesting. But yeah, um, was not a very attractive group. That would be one where you get tickets easily. Wolfsburg, Hent, Saint-Etienne and Alexandria. Wolfsburg, Saint-Etienne. Hent maybe has a chance, but I honestly don't think that it will be that. I think Saint-Etienne is a little bit better. Um, should be an easy one for Wolfsburg, but let's see. Then the other Austrian team is in the group with Roma, Gladbach, Bajak Shehir and Wolf, then Wolfsburg. This, I would, have, I would have loved to be in that group. I really would, would, would have loved to be that group because you have two really big names and even Bajak Shehir, I mean, being from uh, Turkey is an interesting draw. Uh, I think Roma Gladbach will run away with that one. Always given that they take it seriously. Then Besiktas Praga, Wolves, Slovan. Slovan yesterday beat unbelievably Pauk. Um, I just don't get it. I really thought that Park will make it to the Champions League uh, relatively easy. Nope. Nope. Besiktas, Wolves, uh, Praga, Slovan. Yeah, I, I think it's probably Besiktas and Wolves. Uh, Wolves, I would say, would uh, win win this one. And then a group that uh, at first we thought, yeah, I really want to have United. That was the one opponent that I really want to have. United, Astana, Partis and Alkmaar. Um, when there was Astana in there, it was kind of, yeah, it's still on the other, but do we really want to go all the way to Kazakhstan? Partisan is a really tough draw, but it would be a nice black and white battle, although I was afraid there would have been many uh, fans from uh, Belgrade there, because, you know, it's Austria after all. And then Alkmaar, yeah, uh, it's going to be, I actually would say United and Alkmaar are the favorites in that one. Overall, it's a weird draw. I mean, Group A is a mess and then you have a, a group like group g or you know um it is definitely interesting what's happening in there as i said with falask i'm most happy that they are in the europa league the group is all right i mean we were we could have played uh against eindhoven or in the champions league qualifications so it's nice to finally play against eindhoven uh lisbon is a nice away trip and with uh, Trondheim, there is at least uh, from work a nice connection there so uh that is fun um but you know it's not arsenal it's not roma it's not united in there and that's a little bit of the downer of this draw but i think it's still very very interesting draw anyway let me know what you thought about that one i'm gonna look now where i get can get europa league patches i really need those on my jersey and once the white jerseys are i will get champions league patches on there gotta be yeah um, I also think that in Rosenborg we will we will wear our pink jersey. I need that jersey too. Oh, I need so many jerseys. I need I need to <laughs> I need to make some extra money. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Anyway, um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment below what you thought about the draw, Europa League draw. Uh, and yeah, I will talk to you soon. This opens my Europa League 1920 playlist. So it's going to be fun. And I will talk to you soon more about all the happenings in European club soccer. Up until then. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.